Hello everyone. I am back on the right side with my Vermibag Mammoth. I was in here a little while ago and I did see some worms. However, it looked like the vast majority had migrated over to the other side that we fed last week. This is finally starting to decompose, break down, get eaten. Uh, these ones are getting really good infested with the microbes. Not as much with this one. And this is the layer where the compost and worm poop starts. Shouldn't be any food on this side because I haven't fed this side in a while. towel roll. Still quite a bit of paper over here. Oh, here's a worm. So they haven't all migrated over, but I think most of them went ahead and migrated where the food is at. So let's get this fed. We have our usual coffee grounds, uh, a couple of paper towels, um, zucchini seeds or, or squash seeds at least, banana peels, pump some sort of gourd, I think this was the acorn squash skins. some of this up a little bit. Let me get this covered up. I have a uh, some vegetable peels and more coffee grounds. Uh, some radishes that went bad and other stuff. And this week I decided to do <coughs> something a little bit different. I have this packing material. It's actually repurposed cotton and denim from one of my uh, shipments of produce that I got. So I decided what I'm gonna do is just put this in on top uh, to help encourage the worms to come up because worms don't like the light. Um, they also like it where it's really moist. So I thought that if I just kind of cover this up with this material, I'll see if maybe they kind of migrate to the surface more. Because um, my worms like to stay a couple inches below the surface of the food. And if that happens, then, you know, the food will will get invaded by microbes, it will rot, but, um, you know, I, I, you end up, you end up at risk of developing bad bacteria and things inside of your, your worm bins. Um, normally I would cover this up with like a bunch of paper, cardboard mix, that sort of thing. However, I've been uh, putting most of that inside of my compost tumbler. Well, tumblers, I have two of them. Uh, so I decided to try to use this material. I've seen people um, use everything from literally burlap 
uh, an old piece of carpet, just uh, bubble wrap, uh, lots of stuff. So I figured this is a natural material. It's mostly cotton, I believe. Um, so, you know, it, it can break down. It will be invaded by microbes. It would probably take a very long time to break down. Um, so that means hopefully it'll last for a long time. But that is what I am doing. And um, I also wanted to show, I did harvest some, if you can see, I did harvest some of the worm castings. This is what I got. There are a lot of cocoons in here, unfortunately, but this is going to go straight into my garden. So when these guys hatch out, they'll just be in my garden next year. Matter of fact, one did. There's a baby worm right there. You see it? It's on my thumb. Mm -hmm. So they are actually hatching out. Okay. Um, but this is what I screened out. This is very, very beautiful. You can still make, you know, some of the, you know, like seeds. There's another little worm for you. Some of the seeds, little bits of, you know, paper or whatever, but it's, it, it'll all be good inside of my garden. So I'm preparing my garden uh, for winter, you know, putting it to rest for winter. And um, I'm also going to be uh, covering it up with like um, wood chips and things like that. Geez, there are so many baby worms that have already hatched out. I actually did this a couple of weeks ago. I just forgot to make a, put it in one of my videos. Kind of wondering if maybe I should pick these little guys out and just put them, put them in here, but yeah. I don't know, what do you think? Put a couple of them back? Yeah. Yeah, because there's like two or three of them right there in my hand. Mm -hmm. So, put a couple of those little guys back. And the rest of these guys are going to go into my garden. Anyway, I hope you have a great week. I am going to be making two more videos today. Um, I did receive my box from uh, the food company that I get my, my produce from, Misfit Market. You can check out their website if you want. Um, and I received another box. I'll also be making a video about that one. So... I hope you have a great week and I'll see you later.